Yeah, that's a tornado sparking an explosion and huge fireball. It was one of many that touched down in Tennessee last night. We now we now know at least six people were killed and more than two dozen are in the hospitals tonight. Tens of thousands are still without power. CBS's Manuel Bojorquez is in Nashville where people are still digging through the rubble. There was little doubt as the intense storm blew through Middle Tennessee. Oh my God! <laughs> that these incredibly large funnel clouds near the heart of Nashville. Oh my God! Would cause major damage. I hope nobody was in those houses. But guys, it was really bad. This is the rubble left in its wake. Devastating, deadly, and widespread. This morning we have a lot of families who are suffering. It's going to take a lot of time, a lot of resources, and us coming together to get through this difficult time. The damage is heaviest in Clarksville and in Hendersonville, where little is left of this antique mart. That's where Pam Miller and five customers, including Sheila Mays and Gwendolyn Murphy Gardner, rushed to the shelter below. We got down to the basement just in time within about less than five minutes. Uh, we shut the door and everything began to rip apart. What was that like? It was frightening. Had you not gone down there, what do you think we would have been? Oh, we've been under all this stuff. You no been doubt. All of this. Wow. No doubt. We made it. We made it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Tonight, those here are salvaging what they can, cleaning up, and taking stock. We need help. <laughs> we need help. We need help. We made it. How grateful are you right now that you and your God customers were okay? God was with us the whole time. No doubt in my mind. Crews have been deployed to these hard hit neighborhoods to try to restore power, but at last check, more than 20,000 customers were still without electricity and temperatures are expected to dip below freezing overnight. Manuel Bajorquez, CBS News, Nashville.